I'm Shanta Magpie Mama and today um, we are on our return trip to Leeds to um, swap the Primark disasters that we have <laughs> but unexpectedly there seems to be snow I wasn't expecting snow well my granny, granny told me there was going to be snow and I was just like oh the weathermen always say that I don't believe them woke up this morning snow and loads of it uh, so that really threw my plans I was just like oh do we still go but you know when I've set my mind to do something especially shopping and having a delicious lunch you now I'm like I want to I really want to go really really want to go so school was put back a bit so school didn't start till half past nine so I was like oh this isn't right and then we'd have been late for school and we're never late for school ever but um, yeah, I was scraping the car with an old plastic plate I found. We were just like, I'm so not ready. Nobody had gloves or anything. We were just like, oh, we're not ready for this at all. And um, I stepped outside and it was so slippy. So I'm going to show you, this is the best tip ever for people baby wear and just anyone who ever goes out in the snow. I'm going to show you this very classic look that I like to wear. This is called the socks over shoes look the socks over shoe look and it is my top recommendation for any snowy or frosty or slippy weather in any way socks over the shoes yeah it doesn't doesn't look quite as classy as i'm like it's better with black socks i have done it with very bright socks before which looks totally insane but yeah definitely do it you know it's gonna stop you from slipping it's brilliant even better than those sho shoe clips because at least you can just roll them up and put them in your pocket so so yes yeah, so we're going on the train now hopefully we're not going to be trapped in Leeds because that would be a little bit of a disaster uh, but hopefully we're going to have a really brilliant time so and today I'm doing my returns haul so I bought a few things at Primark last time and they didn't look as good as I hoped, so I took them back and then of course whilst I was there I saw all these other amazing things that I definitely needed. So I bought some more, so you've got another haul, so it's brilliant. So I've got some other things as well, so we went back to Lee's, my sister, and it's my sister and I and the toddler and the two babies. So lots of fun, it was really snowy, but you know we decided we're not going to let a bit of weather stop us that's when you let a bit of weather stop you that's how you end up sat at home on a really bright sunny day thinking oh, I should have just gone out why did I not go out anyway so right, this very I've got lots of I'm very pleased with things that I've got this time so I got this now this is one of these lovely bomber jackets now, this is for my daughter but I will just show you how nice it is oh can I get it in Oh, God, my problem is my arms are too long. This is why children's clothes don't fit me. My arms are just too long. But yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's quite nice. That was twelve pounds, um, and I'd ordered a one ages ago on Amazon, and it hadn't turned up. So and she'd been asking for it. So I thought I'm just going to get this one. So yeah, so twelve pounds. This is a size age um, twelve to thirteen, and it's all nice and furry inside so it's a bit thicker so it's really nice so yeah i'm pleased with that and then got myself the only thing that ever fits when you go and try things out i've got a scarf a new scarf i'm very pleased with this it's lovely and bright and that was four pounds so you know scarves can't go wrong with a scarf always fits always jazzes up every item every outfit now some other little things that I saw which were quite interesting, they've got good for those stocking fillers and little presents, some socks, just socks and two pairs and it's two pound but do you know they look quite fancy these and I've seen socks like really fancy looking socks for, I've seen for 15 pound, 15 pound for a pair of socks before you know that just looks a little bit snazzier but not that far off these so I was just like ooh these are good. So I'm not sure if I'm going to give them to my daughter for Christmas or if I might wear them myself this week. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and I've got some more socks. It's all about the socks because I really like this colour here. This is kind of the colour of the season, kind of mustardy. Uh, so that were, they were £2.50 uh, for two pairs and these are over the knee socks and it was, it was all kind of set up as a display that's why I ended up getting them really because they were kind of doubled up together you know looking all fancy and I was just like oh they're nice 
So yes, my socks. Yeah. Socks, another one. Always fit socks. Unless I'm too small. And then I got this. Now don't tell the teen. But it's his birthday coming up. I got him this. Uh, so this is a really snuggly throw. Because even when they're boys and even when they're teenagers, they still love snuggly throws. So this is nice. So I can imagine it's just going to be wrapped in it all the time. So that was £6, which I think is really good. And it is so soft. It was unbelievably soft. So that's a nice present. I'll probably get one for um, my girls for Christmas as well. And then I got these. And these are exciting. So these are just like little LED lights. And you can see they've just got like, um, just a bit coppery. So the, all the copper things are really fashionable at the moment. And then I think they've got like little snowflakes on. I was just going to buy one and then I thought, if I don't buy two, I'm going to end up regretting this, aren't I? So I decided to just go for both of them. And they were £2.50 pack, which I think is quite, you know, it's really reasonable, that. And I've just seen them in Asda, something very similar, for £5 a pack. So I was just like, yes, I've won, I've won. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I've got, what's this I've got? I can't remember. Oh, it's a lazy arm phone holder. And that's for my son for his birthday as well, just so he can clip his phone to his bed. So, yeah, so that's good. And then what have got? Oh, I went for clothing again. I'm brave, I know. I, t I took back the, um, the check shirt and I took back the silver boots. I decided not even to replace them because it what well, it came down to was the grip. Because I wear my babies all the time, you know, I've always got the sling on and everything. You need a really good grip on your shoes. And because it was so snowy that day, I suddenly thought, do you know what? I can't wear something without a really sturdy grip. So I took them back anyway. So I got myself a shirt instead. Now this was just kind of abandoned by itself in another area. So that's how I kind of picked it up. I'll show you it, but I think I'm going to take it back. <laughs> because... It's one, another one of those things where I feel like I'm wearing somebody else's clothes. It's like I'm, I'm trying to be too fashionable, you know. And it, trying to be too fashionable doesn't really work for me. I don't know how other people do it. I don't know how other people look so good all the time. But I'm going somewhere fancy tomorrow. I'm going to Blogfest. And it's the first time I've ever been to kind of a blog event like this. And I'm a little bit nervous. And I just think to myself, think, oh, they're all going to look absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to end up going like an old bag <laughs> I'll be wearing my snazzy jacket, of course, I'm not sure. in case you haven't seen it. I'll be wearing that, and I don't know what else I'm going to wear. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing the military shirt that I'd saved from my last haul, but I'm still in two minds like that. My sister said, ooh, ooh, Charlotte, I don't think you should keep that. So I'm just like, oh, gosh, everyone else said I should. Do I know? But, you know, she's not a fashion expert either, and I can say that because she doesn't really always watch the videos. <laughs> yeah, so we're both unfashionable together. Yeah, so I don't know whether I'm going to keep that or not, but yeah. So this is the shirt, so I'll just stand up. It's got like gaping bits, really annoying, all close into that. And it's not as if I'm massively busted, so I don't know what it is. Maybe I've got a really wide back, you know, from my, all my swimming. I don't really, so I'll swim it up. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's not me, is it? It's not me. Is that, oh, I got this. This is just my toddler, this is just going to be a little activity for him to do. Uh, so it comes with colouring pens, just make your own Spider-Man mask, it's £1.50. So that's a nice fun little activity to do. You have to go look, I'm doing this. Then I got first, oh, look at this, look at this tinsel, Ooh, so this is a nice kind of coppery look, the kind of coppery trend again, so it's just like, ooh. I'll have a bit of that. Uh, and that was a pound. Pounds, that's nice. Maybe I should wear that so they can see me at Vlogfest. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Now, then I got some. What the hell was I got? Oh, so I've got some tights for my little girl. Uh, so these are three pound fifty for three pairs, which I think is really good because they, they look really nice. And you know, if, if even if you're getting the cheapest ones from a supermarket, you know, you'd be talking three pound fifty a pair at some at some places. So yes, I thought these are nice. You can never have too many tights. And then we got oh, we went to the um, sushi place to eat again, the Itsu place, and picked up these. These are brilliant snacks for children crispy seaweed thins you know when you're using toddler snacks just as an activity if you're somewhere where you just want to keep them occupied to keep them quiet 
perfect because these are kind of seaweed's a bit of a superfood as well so these are really good and they, they like them you know we go back to them again and again these are the wasabi ones i, I like the wasabi ones the best but even those they'll go oh spicy but then they'll just keep eating them so nice handy thing to have around nice and light as well for traveling life and then we got socks so primark two pound fifty for five pairs of socks yeah nice nice and cheap but they look good as well and we've got oh, i got socks for my son for his birthday it's just behind that curtain don't let him hear so yeah i was gonna get fancier more expensive ones but between him and my husband they just tend to make holes in all the socks i thought Do you know what i think two pound for five pairs is probably fine they don't appreciate a fancy sock anyway they don't care what it looks like i also got gloves for my son as well they were two pound for some really big thick gloves they're really nice i just got some gloves for the little ones i was trying i was trying to say no don't anyone go in the back until i've done my video and they're like oh we want our gloves like they're suddenly so desperate for a pair of gloves anyway they were two pairs for a pound so that's really good because you know su again supermarkets you know they're going to be more than that so i could save them and then i went a bit snazzy now i think i've gone too ambitious here i've gone i was too optimistic now you know those really nice bras that they used to wear in the 90s and those like calvin klein ones and they're just kind of soft bras they're not padded or anything and they're the ones that kate moss used to wear you like oh, they were all over the place now they're really fashionable again because there's a big kind of thing about not wearing bras again but or if you just wear underwire ones without any underwiring so I was looking across the store and I saw them and I was like, oh, they're so nice. But you see, in my mind, when I have those, what I'm buying into, I'm buying myself as Kate Moss, looking all trim and athletic and model-like and beautiful. So that's what I'm buying when I'm buying one of these bras. So it's always a little bit disappointing when you get the bag and it's like, Listen, I'm not going to look like this. I haven't even tried them on yet and I'm thinking, I don't even know if I want to. I might just wear them as, keep them as display item. Because if there is display, then I can still be that beautiful, slim, fit body in them. But once I've tried them on, then I'm going to get that vision in my mind. It's maybe not quite as nice as that. But anyway, I'll show you them. I'll show them the beautiful. I'm just going to, just going to hang them up. as just, Look at that. So these are knickers and bra. And they're four pounds and it's a really nice colour. See, when I'm all fit and lovely, when I've done lots of yoga or something like that, I'm going to wear this. I'll, sh I'll even show you myself in them if I can wear them, they look nice. I won't now though. And then, you can't even take them back either. So it's just like, mm, I'm stuck with my beautiful knickers and my beautiful bra. And then, you see, I got carried away. I bought another one as well, another set. Just like so. They're the knickers. They're really nice. And they were, they were, they were three pounds, which is more than I usually pay for knickers. So, there you go, three pounds. And then here's the bra. And look at this, how beautiful is that? You see, that's so nice. So, again, it's another one that I'm going to be thinking, oh, I'm going to wear this and I'm going to be like Kate Moss and Carbon Klein billboard. I'm probably not going to be, no. Not for a while yet. Maybe after Christmas. I'll wait till after Christmas before I even try them on. <laughs> what did I get next? Oh, I've got a dual USB charging cable thing. Another thing for my son's collection of things for him to break. <laughs> also another son his birthday present. So there'll be quite a few hauls coming on. If you don't like them, just skip over them and get to the other bits. But if you do like them, you know, give me a thumbs up. Put your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. And um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.